In this video about quadrilaterals, <clears throat> we have the four points, A, B, C, D, and we have diagonals that are A, C, and B, D, okay, that intersect at point E. So we're told that A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral with perpendicular diagonals. So let's think about all the quadrilaterals that have perpendicular diagonals. A rhombus does, a square does, and a kite does. All three of these shapes have perpendicular diagonals. Now, in order for it to have been a rhombus or a square, we would have to know, sorry, that's the bell, we would have to know that it is a parallelogram. Okay, because we don't know it's a parallelogram, we can't say that definitively it is a rhombus or a square. So this is in fact going to be a kite. So let's draw a kite. Okay, we draw with our diagonals, where one diagonal is clearly longer than the other. Okay, just like that. We start with a T or a cross, and then you put in your side length. So here are your four sides for your um, kite. And we can finish it off right here. Okay, so some things about kites, right? They are perpendicular diagonals. They have consecutive sides that are equal. Okay, one of these diagonals gets bisected, and it looks like this one is the one that does. Okay, so this diagonal gets bisected. The other one does not. Okay, these base angles, I guess we could call them, these ones also get bisected. Okay, so this, the longer diagonal cuts these ones in half, and then these angles here are actually congruent. So there are lots of things that are equal about a kite. We're going to use a lot of those here in about five minutes when we start solving stuff. So we know that AB equals 10 and equals AD. So this point can be A, and this point can be B, and this point can be D. So these are both 10 units which means C has to go over there. Okay, measure of angle A is 100 degrees. So each of these portions are going to be 50. Okay, because this angle gets bisected, and so does that one over there. And then angle D is 64. So all of this is 64 degrees. That means all of that is 64 degrees. So we want to find the lengths of AC and BD. Okay, which are your diagonals. So we're going to find the lengths of your diagonals, and the hint says that we have to use trig, and that's exactly what we want to use. Okay, I'm going to find this length right here first, so I'll call that one x. I know an angle, I know a side length, and I'm finding another side length so I can use trig. Trigonometry, very, very handy. So for the 50-degree angle, x is the opposite side, and 10 is the hypotenuse. So then I'm going to use the sine ratio because that's the one that relates the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So the sine of 50, that's the angle, equals x, the opposite side, over 10, your hypotenuse. So we solve this by multiplying by your denominator, and then I can put this into my calculator. 10 times the sine of 50 equals 7.66. Okay, so that's the length of x. We'll go ahead and put that in here, 7.66. And because this gets bisected down here, this one is also 7.66. So I can say that the length of BD, right, that diagonal, is 7.66 plus 7.66, which comes out to be 15.66. So that's the length of BD. So now we have to do a little bit more work in order to find the length of AC. So first I'm going to find this portion, right? Still using my triangle. So for my 50 degree angle, Y is the adjacent side and 10 is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use the cosine ratio because the cosine ratio relates the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So we solve by multiplying by your denominator. So we multiply both sides by 10. And now this one goes into the calculator. 10 times the cosine of 50 is 6.43. So this much is 6.43. 
So now I have to do some more information. I got to figure out stuff over here. Now, the only thing I know is that angle D is 64 and this one is 100 and that one's 64. So I'm going to find the measure of angle C, right? The measure of angle C. I guess I could do, if this is 50 degrees and this is 40 degrees and this top angle is 24, I could do that also. Okay, in fact, let's do that. We're going to use the fact that this right triangle is a 50 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle there, which means our top angle has to be 40. Now, since all of this is 64, if the left portion is 40, that means the right portion is 24. And I'm going to find this side length for my 24 degree angle. This happens to be the opposite side and 7.66 is the adjacent side. So that trig is going to be the tangent. So the tangent of 24 equals Z over 7.66. 24 is my angle. Z is the opposite side. 7.66 is my adjacent side. So I multiply everything by 7.66 and put it into my calculator. 7.66 times the tangent of 24 is 3.41. So if I'm going to find the length of AC, I take 6.43 and I add it to 3.41. So 3.41 plus 6.43 is 9.84. So that's the length of my other diagonal. Okay. As long as you know one angle and one side of a right triangle, you can use trigonometry to find the length of the other side. Okay, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And for this reference angle of 24, tangent is Z, the opposite side, over 7.66, the adjacent side. And that's how you find the lengths of your diagonals.